hello above developers welcome to another exciting video where i'll talk about how you can avail free completely free sap software that you can install to your personal machine and then start learning exploring the latest and cutting edge sap technologies that's coming all the way as a packed up with sap developer trial edition 2022 as you can see that i have already installed this sap software and you can find 2022 s4 hana foundation which is running on hana database so the question is before you install this software let's understand the target audience like who will be using this software eventually so don't expect the sales purchasing those kind of a business transactions or transaction tables will be available over here so those things are not possible it is dedicatedly created keeping developers in mind okay so if you are an above developers you want to practice the above you have to want to learn above you are already a uh, seasoned ABAP developer and you want to explore a bit with the cutting edge technologies that SAP is offering like this for our program model and those things you want to explore then this is the software makes sense to install so let's understand what are the things that you are going to get uh, in this uh, software so here in this uh, particular blog post uh, Julie from SAP already explained well so it starts with the ABAP on cloud as you can see the highlights on 2022 edition is a developer extensibility scenarios you can check out and different reference blog post given this is the restful application preview model so you can check out that how to create the different wrap software that is also available i have created a plethora of content about restful preview model which you can find in the in this podcast is showing on the screen i will also provide all the video tutorials the url in the description box and you can check this out later you can check out you can start exploring something called git enabled uh, cts i mean this is this is also available in previous version like above 1909 uh, if you want to explore gcts you can try out in this particular software edition side by side above git uh, how to use the above git because generally the above developers we use correction transport system mechanism but the trend is all about the git so that you can collaborate with the different uh, developers colleagues or kind of a community members and we can ex exchange the thoughts ideas and also object about repository objects across using the git and github so how to use that how to install it that i have explained in this particular tutorial you can check out later you can also check out some other custom my code migration whether your code is cloud ready or not that kind of a transactions that you can also available in this software edition you can do that yeah sap cloud connector is pre-installed you just need to spin up this uh, software and you can integrate your on-prem system with all the way to btp cloud for that you can check out this tutorial where i have explained in detail step by step how you can configure your cloud connector setup with the btp and there are other highlights so I just installed this software i also need to check my own what are the different capabilities and offerings and definitely i'll keep creating different uh, content for you and will publish through my channel so if you're coming to my channel for the first time and not yet subscribed recommend will be to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon because it will intimate you the moment i upload a new content for you now let's start with the installation process I already created a tutorial on how to install above 1909 developer trial edition. Uh, the similar sort of steps I need to follow over here. But for 2022, we need to uh, ensure a couple of things. So I'm using Windows operating system. So I'll go to this Windows section first. And here what happens, like, let's understand the hardware requirements, right? In my case, I have 32 GB of RAM and one terabyte of SSD and uh, Windows 11, that is the operating system. So when you create a container with the Docker image and spin up the software, then Docker will allocate 50% of your RAM size. And that means it will allocate 16 GB. But for 2022, it needs little extra memory. So overall 20 GB, I need to allocate. And that's the reason this configuration is important. So I have created a file as mentioned over here, starting with .wsl config with this content. As you can see over here so this is already created i have created this file with a cat command and i can see the content that i put it's a 20 gb once this file creation is over 
Now to, to activate this change, you have to run this command called WSL double dot shutdown. So that will actually enable this change or activate these changes about this memory allocation. So after having this done and your hardware requirements is all set, then the next step should be we have to pull the Docker image. Now what happened? We are using Windows subsystem for Linux and we will be requiring a Docker software or Docker for Windows. This is the software that I have already installed and this is the image that I have already downloaded. We will definitely talk about how to pull the image but this is the software that is needed. It's a must. And not only that, you also have to create a Docker Hub user ID and you have to log in through this. For example, I have already logged in over here. So Docker and Docker Hub is similar like Git and GitHub, right? We have a Git as a local system and to share across the repository, we generally use the GitHub, right? For a collaboration, code collaboration. Similarly with the Docker, if you want to share across different images, we need the Docker Hub. So we need to have a Docker Hub credential is a free of course and you have to log in otherwise the docker pool means this image you will not be able to download so that's important now to download the docker image the command should be like that docker pool and this is the particular software with the tag name now i would say i recommend to go to this one tag step don't copy this one okay go to tag step and from there you copy whatever over here so is it we can bring a different packages later on and they will basically decommission the earlier or previous version and to get the latest one you have to come to this tags and check that particular new version and copy from there so we are all done till now so after this docker pool is done and it will take a good amount of time to download this software or image it will be this the size of this image should be around uh, 25 GB, 25 GB plus, I would say. And that is a compression uh, size, but when it will decompress, it will be more than 60, uh, 60 GB. So, as you can see, it's a decompressed version uh, as is showing 62 GB. So, of course, you need to have an adequate space in your hard disk before you try installing this software. So, after your image is downloaded, the next step would be to create a container out of this image just like in my case you see this is the image if you go to containers this is the current container is up and running and as you can see out of this 20 gb currently this particular container is allocated 17 gb so actually you, you should have an adequate ram to run this software now to create a container after image download is over then you have to run this command okay but I would recommend to change this bit uh, a little. So this is what I have. I would recommend. It's the same thing that that you have seen in the, the document. Only thing is this one I have added as an extra. So what happens? It will create a container. The name will be of the container is A4 capital H or A4H, whatever you give. I'm giving A4 capital H because I have already one more container created previously, which is of name A4H. That's why there is a conflict and I have to give a different name. So I've just put A4H or I have a 4 HANA. So here the name of the controller, as I said, A4H. This will be the host name of your local SAP system. These are the internal ports that have been exposed outside. So this is the port which actually refers to HANA database. So if you are because my current SAP is running on HANA, as I said. So if you want to create certain HANA artifacts through Eclipse LED, then you need to open that particular uh, port. Otherwise, you can't access. I already created this tutorial through which you can learn that how you can access the HANA database and do kind of, kind of an integration with your Eclipse LED. And you can do a lot of fun with HANA. So after this container is created, you will be able to see this content like that will come and will see it's all running. But let's also understand when you run this command, what will show in your command. So it can came with a conflict uh, for you definitely it, it may not be because uh, if you are running as a fresh, uh, for me it was already enabled for HANA. That's why this conflict came and it just give a different name as is explained. 
and after that this kind of uh, details will start coming up it will take uh, not much time at least 15 to 20 minutes it will take to complete this installation process and finally uh, when you'll see this kind of a message called have fun that means you are done okay your SAP uh, software is completely installed and it's ready for use let's understand the connecting connection mechanism about your SAP GUI login pad or maybe Eclipse LED. So this is my SAP login pad. And if I click on edit, this is a kind of a configuration that I have done to connect to. Let's understand how to log into this SAP system it means you need to have a user ID and password. For that, you can come to this section called user and passwords. So this is the current uh, version of the software that we are using 2022 of a cloud developer trial edition and this would be the password and the user id would be developer okay that's the default name or developer and this is the previous version as i said if you are using above 1909 service pack 01 so that was the previous one but this will be shortly uh, this version will be discontinued and already the initial one version already discontinued okay so that is what and there are certain other uh, users created like ddk and uh, sap start for admin related activities i'm not creating or showing kind of a separately uh, how to integrate with eclipse because you can check out this particular tutorial where i already explained how to connect your eclipse entity with this uh, s4 hana system same process you need to follow along then it talks about how to stop the container and race at the start again so simple you can go to this uh, command prompt and you just need to put a control c that will immediately shut down this container and to start it up you can simply go to over here and you can run like docker start minus ai and your container name last one you need to cover with the licensing part so to update the license uh, you need to follow these particular steps you can also check out this tutorial it's a very short video and i have just explained step by step what you need to do it's very simple same thing whatever is just documented i have just created as a, as a video tutorial i think that will be easy for you to refer to check out the current licensing status let's go to the transaction x license and it actually shows about till 11th of july this license is still valid give us a thumbs up if this video is helpful to you share and subscribe my channel uh, to keep yourself updated with the SAP related content, shortly connecting with a new topic. Goodbye till then.